The OECD said the biggest risk to the Australian economy is a crash in property. Would you agree with that? Well, when you look at the numbers and just think where is the largest exposure, yes. And uh, we think that's a really low probability, by the way. But it's certainly something that we stress test a lot and think about. I mean, there are some very real differences in the Australian market compared to, say, the US or Europe that suggest that that's less likely. But on the face of it, it is certainly a risk. I mean, are the good times over for the banks? I mean, you're under a, what, a reshaping of ANZ. You want to make yourself uh, more agile. But, you know, you have margin pressures. You have more, uh, obviously, interventionist government. You have this bank levy that uh, is going to be imposed. Oh, slowing consumer credit outlook as well. I mean, is it, are the good times over? Well, I think, I think they're getting tougher. I mean, you know, the, I'm not sure it's ever been good times. It's always been hard work running a bank. <laughs> but um, I think the point is that what's driven bank earnings over the last really 20 years has been an increase in household leverage, which has been afforded because of lowering of interest rates. Well, that's just not going to drive the future. And so the future is going to be different. And so we've been getting ready for that at ANZ for a little while, expecting a lower growth outlook. How do you succeed in that? It's all about you know, capital efficiency and productivity. And so that's what we've been shifting our attention to. What about the bank levy? Uh, you've called it a regrettable policy, but also among the big banks, you've been more, what, can we say, a more, having a more conciliatory tone? Uh, are you more resigned to the fact that it's going to happen? Uh, well, we are resigned. To the, it is going to happen. I mean, all parts of uh, Parliament support it. It is regrettable. We don't think it's good policy. We think uh, it will have unintended consequences. But the point, we've seen very little uh, value in kind of bleating about it. Uh, really, we should be getting on with the government, trying to work out how best to implement this to avoid those unintended consequences. Are you worried that it could take a precedent, though, and you can have further bank levies? Well, certainly our investors are. They're worried less about the financial implication of this levy. Uh, which is probably manageable, but more about what it says about the relationship, what it says about government policy between government and industry in general, but particularly around the banks. And, you know, we've seen in other parts of the world, the UK in particular, you know, it starts in one way and then changes form over time. So that's, where, that's, what, that's what people are worried a little about. Are we